So Diablo 4 was suspiciously absent from my list about games that are coming out in June that I was excited for, and that's only because it's not a game that you can natively purchase through the Steam ecosystem. But just because you can't buy it within the Steam marketplace doesn't mean that you can't play it on the Steam Deck, and that's what today's video is all about, is how to get Diablo 4 up and running on your Steam Deck relatively quickly. Now to be fair, there are a few different methods that you can use to accomplish this and get the Battle.net launcher onto your Steam Deck to play Diablo 4, but personally I opted to go the Lutris route because one, I really didn't have any experience with Lutris and just wanted to see how it performed, and two, it just kind of seemed like the shortest path from point A to point B without getting too deep into the weeds when it comes to the configuration pieces. So all that being said, let's just go ahead and dive in. However, quick word before we start, you may want to make sure that you have plenty of space available on your Steam Deck just because Diablo 4 is a beefy boy that's going to chew up about 90 gigs of space. Now I think you can actually customize the installation to put it on the SD card if you want, but just for the sake of simplicity I personally opted to just put it on the SSD. So all that being said, let's dive in. For starters you'll want to be in desktop mode for this, so go ahead and reboot into the Linux desktop if you're not already there. Next we'll go ahead and launch the Discover Marketplace to go ahead and find and install the Lutris app. After Lutris has completed its installation through the Discover app, go ahead and launch Lutris the same way you would any other application. After the Lutris interface appears, go ahead and click on the plus sign in the upper left hand corner to add a game, and then do a search for battle.net and select the top option when it returns. Once you've started the process, there might be a few notifications of prerequisites that also need to be installed for this process. If those show up, just make sure to go ahead and click through to install those as well if needed. And quick note, once you get to the place where you're actually installing Battle.net, you'll be prompted to log in, but don't do that immediately. Just close out of the window like Lutra says, and let the installer keep doing its thing. I actually screwed this up initially because I wasn't paying attention, so I had to remove it and re-add it. So yeah, don't be like me and just make sure to follow Lutra's instructions. And if you see that Battle.net login window pop up, just go ahead and close it for now because you can log in later. Once Lutris has completed the Battle.net installation, you'll see the launcher listed in the main window, so you can go ahead and launch Battle.net from within Lutris, and now you can go ahead and log in. And after getting logged in, you can go ahead and navigate to Diablo 4, I believe at the top of the window, and choose the install option on the left. Depending on your connection speed, it might take a bit to wrap this up since, again, we are talking about right around 90 gigabytes of data to complete the Diablo 4 installation. After Diablo is done installing, or really even while it's installing, now you can go ahead and add Lutris as a non-Steam application within the Steam desktop client. Just open up Steam and click on the Add a Game button in the lower left, and in the dialog that pops up, scroll to find the Lutris application and click the Add Select and Programs button at the bottom. And finally, one more thing before you go back to game mode with your Steam Deck after the Diablo 4 installation is finished, you may want to hit a site like SteamGridDB.com to grab some artwork for Lutra so it looks nice and tidy in the game interface when you exit out of desktop mode. You can see here I've added a header image, icon, and also a cover art image so it looks a little bit cleaner when I'm scrolling through my games list. At this point you can go ahead and log out of desktop mode or reboot to get back into the game interface. Once there, go ahead and fire up Lutra and select the Battle.net launcher. And after you get logged in, you should be able to launch Diablo 4 normally. I say should be able to launch normally because I did hit a weird visual glitch with the Battle.net browser on mine where it didn't actually show the play button here on the left, but if you go to the top of the window and hit the maximize button, it should appear if you encounter the same issue. Beyond that small hiccup getting the play button to appear, everything else worked pretty much seamlessly out of the gate. The deck controls were detected just fine with no issues and I didn't have to make any adjustments to just jump in and start having fun with it. Now looking around online, I did see where a few people have problems getting Lutris to run without setting it to Proton Experimental in the compatibility area. I personally didn't encounter this, so if you do run into any issues, that might be one of the first things to check. Now as for Diablo 4 itself, I'm having a blast with it so far, although admittedly I am playing it in sort of like shorter stints on the Steam Deck, before kind of returning to my actual gaming rig back here to kind of play some more there. 
Deck performance seems to be a bit of a mixed bag so far, but I haven't really done any hardcore tweaks or anything like that either. It seems to hover near 60 FPS if you don't mind the low graphics preset that it starts with, and I gotta say, I didn't mind that preset. Sure, the up-close stuff looks a little bit muddled when you're going through the character creation process, but considering Diablo's a top-down view anyways, where you're not right on top of every detail in the environment, I didn't mind the trade-off at all to do a couple of runs while I was just sort of chilling on my couch with a backup battery around, and honestly I could see myself diving in for a few hours at a pop this way, probably while watching something in the background as I grinded out through dungeon after dungeon. Now if you're not playing tethered to the wall or with a backup battery, it looks like you'll be able to get about an hour and a half of gameplay on those low settings that I mentioned earlier, although to be fair, you might be able to squeeze out a little bit more playtime if you decide to lock everything down to like 40 or 50 FPS or something. Also, something else to keep in mind is that, for better or worse, Diablo 4 is a game that requires a constant internet connection. And that's a little bit annoying, but the silver lining is that your progress should be cloud synced whenever you log into Battle.net automatically. So if you're playing somewhere out in the wild, your progress should be right there waiting for you whenever you get back to your home rig or any other place that you can log in. And while I'm not sure how much I agree with an always online requirement for a game like this, at least it carries the advantage of, again, not worrying about whether or not your progress is saved whenever you jump back in, maybe on a different machine or in a different location. So yeah, long story short, Diablo 4 is relatively easy to get up and running on the Steam Deck with a little bit of legwork. I didn't have to jump through too many hoops, and again, there are other methods for getting Diablo 4 onto your Steam Deck. I just chose this one because I didn't have a lot of familiarity with Lutris, and it seemed like a two birds with one stone sort of situation. So yeah, again, in a nutshell, if you're thinking about picking up Diablo 4, but not really you know hot on the idea of doing that, wearing you can't play it on the Steam Deck, you definitely can. And again, you know the process to get there is not too daunting. And personally, I cannot wait to spend a whole lot more of my vacation doing exactly that and just running through tons and tons of dungeons and hooking up with a few friends to just, you know, explore the world of Diablo 4 and everything that it has to offer. But hey, what about you? Have you already been playing Diablo 4 and enjoying it? If so, I would love to hear your thoughts below. Also, if you have any feedback on the process for adding Diablo 4 to the Steam Deck or a method that you found was, uh, you know, just particularly appealing or something that's very streamlined and easy to jump into, I would love to hear that as well. As always, thank you so much for your time and hanging out here watching videos on the channel. It means a lot to me. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next one.